We now look at the derivatives of exponential functions. Uh, this time, just looking at the e to the x, the function e. We'll look at the something like 3 to the x, other numbers in that later. So, derivative e to the x is in fact e to the x. Very interesting that e to the x is its own derivative. It's a very magical little number, this. So if we have a look at a few examples, derivative of 3e to the x with respect to x, well, that's straightforward because 3 can actually multiply the derivative. So in fact, it becomes 3e to the x. So it stays 3e to the x. The next one, e to the minus x, well, there we have a composite function, outside function, e to the inside function, negative x. So there we are, outside y equals e to the u, inside u equals negative x. So when we differentiate the outside function, we keep e to the negative x just as it is, by the rule that e to the x stays the same. Multiply by derivative of the inside function, negative x, which is negative 1. Simplifying to negative e to the negative x. Here's another composite function, e to the sine of x. This time we have outside as y equals e to the u. Inside, u equals sine of x. So when we differentiate the outside function, we come back with e to u. So we'll have e to the sine of x. And the inside function, when we differentiate it, we get cos of x. So e to the sine x, still the same, times and then derivative of the inside function sine x is cos x. Here's a product rule. u equals e to the x, and v equals x squared plus x minus 2. And there's product rule. Derivative of uv is u prime v plus uv prime. So we'll have the derivative of e to the x times the second one v as it is, plus e to the x as it is times derivative of v. So e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the second function stays the same, plus e to the x times derivative of the second, which is 2x plus 1. Simplifying, we end up with x squared e to the x plus 3x e to the x minus e to the x. A couple of the terms cancel one another out within there. Some exercises for you to do. So pause and try them yourself. Going through the exercises, e to the minus 5x, composite function, outside function, e to the u, inside function, minus 5x. So that's f prime, leaving the minus 5x as it is. And that's g prime, derivative of minus 5. And we just write it in the simpler form. f being the outside function, g the inside. When we differentiate the outside function, e to the, it stays e to the, there it is. And the inside stays the same. Same thing here now. We differentiate the outside function, e to the 5 minus 7x, and it will stay the same, times derivative of the inside function, and differentiating 5 minus 7x, we get minus 7. So there we are. f outside g inside, there's f prime, the outside function, leaving 5 minus 7x as it is, and there's g prime, differentiating 5 minus 7x. Simplified. Same thing once again. We'll write that as 4x to the half. Now we're going to end up with e to the same, because there we are. f is the outside function. g is the inside function. So the outside function is e to the so therefore it stays as e to the whatever, that. And then derivative of the inside function, multiply down 
by a half, take one off the half, so you get minus half, minus 2x. This one here has a product and then a separate function. So we get it. Use product rule on the first term and just get leave the second term as it is with the derivative e to the x being e to the x. So there we are. If that's u, that's v. There's u prime, v. There's u and v prime minus e to the x. E to the x, e to the x is cancel one another out. So we end up with x e to the x. Another prime rule, there's the u, there's the v. So when we differentiate u, we get 2x minus 2. When we differentiate v, we get e to the x. So u prime v plus u v prime. Simplifying. Multiplying out, it ends up only being x squared e to the x because all the other terms cancel one another out. Final one, there's u e to the x and v sine of x plus cos x. And we're going to use product rule again. So there we are, u prime v plus u v prime. So u prime is e to the x. Same thing, and v plus u as it is, and v prime, well, derivative of sine is cos, derivative of cos is minus sine. Multiplying out, terms cancel one another out, we end up with 2e to the x cos x.